What is up? Welcome back. Usually on Tuesdays I show you some of the cool stuff that I sold on eBay this past week. Stuff that you can find at thrift stores and garage sales. And there's definitely some of that in this video, but I'm going to go ahead and warn you. This has been a weird week. Like, I've made mistakes. I sold stuff that I've had listed for years. I helped a couple people lift their fannies. And I had probably the worst return that I've ever had. So, check it out. So these things sold really quick. These are Peloton shoes and they've actually got clips on the bottom so you can clip them into your bicycle and do your workouts or whatnot. Paid six fifty dollars for them from Goodwill and they sold in about an hour and a half after I listed them for $49.99. Probably could have squeezed a couple more dollars out of them, but I'll take that quick sale. So I saw these crazy shorts at Salvation Army and usually crazy sales. So I looked into them and they had this Jumpman logo tag on the inside. So I thought they were pretty old. Paid $2.99 for them, brought them home. And I was getting ready to list them. I actually Google lensed them to see if there were any listings on eBay or anywhere else for that matter. Sure enough, there were several listings on eBay, some that had sold and some that hadn't. And they used the keyword hair, H-A-R-E, Jordan Jumpman hair shorts. Not really sure what that means, but like I said, there were several that had sold. I listed mine at $44.50 and they sold for full price in a couple of weeks. Pretty interesting jacket going out. This is a vintage Russell Athletic Carolina Gamecocks jacket. Got the Gamecock embroidered on the front, big spell out on the back. It's not made in the USA, but it's still pretty old. Paid $10 for it from a sale and it sold for $54.50 in about a week. You guys already know, it's the Fanny Lifter. Paid $6, well actually they were marked $6 and there was a 31% off sale since it was Halloween. So that makes it like $4.15, something like that. And they sold for $84.50 in a couple of weeks on eBay. Don't know what they are, we'll go ahead and roll the footage. Of course, what makes this program so successful is the firm Fanny Lifter. It provides stability and is an important tool for establishing proper form. It is the key to the results you want. Climb right. Up and lunge left right. Climb the box left with arms. From the fanny lifter to the transfermer. Same concept, just a little bit wider. Paid $5 for this guy from a thrift store and it sold in a couple of weeks for $149. Make sure they do have all of these little black feet if they don't or if you want to buy them separately you can on ebay or you can actually sell them separately on ebay they bring some pretty good money so here's a mistake for you this is a lot of 11 webkins pay 50 cent a piece for them so five dollars and fifty cent and i didn't want to list each one separately i knew they'd take forever to sell so I put them up for auction all in one lot. And usually when I start an auction, I'll set the price, the starting price, at a price where I know that I'm not gonna lose money. So I started these for $12. I feel like I can ship these anywhere in the US via UPS for about $12, except I forgot to take into account what these actually cost me. So after seven days, they actually sold for $12.50. So I'm definitely losing a little bit of money here, but just wanna keep it real with you guys. All right, so some more Webkins, and once again, paid 50 cent a piece for these. There's only five of them here, so that's $2.50. And these are actually the signature series. You can see the gold paw here versus the colorful one on the regular ones. These are definitely worth more. Could have made more money selling them individually, but who knows how long I would have had to sit on them. So I put them up for auction, and after seven days, they sold for $34. So I actually made a little bit of money on this one. Interesting hat going out here. This is Monahan's Nipple Up Service. And apparently that's got something to do with an oil derrick or an oil rig. I'm not real sure. I actually bought this hat along with a bunch of other ones. A bulk buy from my buddy Chris at Flip the World. He sent them to me probably a year ago. Somehow this one had gotten unlisted. I noticed it when I was going through my inventory the other day. I relisted it and two weeks later it sold for $16. 
So I'm not gonna lie, I had kind of high hopes when I picked up this golf bag from a thrift store in Virginia. Paid $15 for it, but I mean, it's got Tiger Woods on it. It's new, it tags, really good condition. Unfortunately, it is a kid's bag, so that kind of decreases the demand. But I figured some collector would want it maybe. So I listed it for a hundred bucks. I've had it up there for quite some time. Finally got an offer for 65 after almost a year. Decided to take it. So I've had this shirt for years. It's a vintage Tommy Hilfiger button up blue shirt with the eagle embroidered on the back and I've probably had it at least two or three years. It's been in a bin and inventory, totally forgot about it, don't remember how much I paid for it. Finally got an offer for $9 plus shipping, decided to take it. Probably not going to make a whole lot of money there but uh, either way I'm happy to see it go after so long. You guys know I love soccer jerseys. This is a Panama national team jersey from 2016-17. Paid $4.75 for it from Goodwill, and it sold for $24 in a couple of months. So when my wife and I went to Raleigh, we found a bunch of these majestic thermo-based like baseball training shirts in the back of the store in their bins area. I believe we paid like $1.49 a piece, and this is the first one to sell. It sold for $28. So after this one, everything should be pretty much profit. Definitely gonna take a while to sell though. I'm not typically in the habit of selling hats for $12 a piece, but I had a repeat buyer reach out and offer me $12 a piece for these two hats, two hats that I've had forever. I've got maybe a dollar a piece into them. So two and a 24, they can both go in the same box. They can still go first class and the buyers in the same state. I'll take it. So this hat's actually been in my death pile for quite some time. I keep a bin of hats in my listing area, and as I'm listing other things, I might pull out one or two just to get them listed. This is a vintage Burger King racing team Joe Nemechek hat. Listed it last week, and it's already sold for $15. I actually took an offer. I think I had it listed for like 18, but happy to see it go. So I sold some little baby Starbucks mugs. I guess these are for espresso shots. And interesting enough, the original price tag still on here. They were $4.95 a piece. I paid a dollar for both of them at a garage sale. And they sold after a couple of months for 30 bucks. These Qigong DVDs are like the gift that keeps on giving. I paid a dollar a piece for like 10 or 12 of them at Goodwill. They were all new and sealed and they just keep selling along and along. Like I said, I paid a dollar for this one and it sold for $24.50. Took a couple of months, but I've definitely already gotten my money back from the ones that I've sold already. You guys may already know, but Nike doesn't make golf clubs anymore, and they're in pretty high demand. This is a Nike SQ Mock Speed Sandwich, and it's actually a kid's club. I've got maybe a dollar or two into it, and it sold for $28 on eBay. So I was kind of nervous when I bought a bunch of shafts at a garage sale. They're just basic shafts, no head on them or anything. They're actually demo shafts. They've got a threaded end so you can screw them into a driver and test it before you buy it. Didn't know how fast they would sell or if they'd sell at all, but I figured at like two or three bucks a piece, I'd take a chance. Well, as you guys have seen, I've sold several of them. And this Matrix Ozic HD 5.1 shaft by True Edge Exotics just sold for $39. So I sold this vintage 1992 USA Olympics t-shirt, paid $1.54 for it from Goodwill. It sold for $19.95 on eBay. Also, I just spent 20 minutes looking for this shirt because for some reason I didn't have a custom SKU on my listing. I had no idea where it was. I had to dig through each individual bin until I found it. Don't be like me. Got a Harley shirt going out and these don't actually sell for a whole lot of money unless you can find the right ones and they can take a while to sell. I actually picked up a bunch of these when I was up in West Virginia, paid like $2.50 a piece, something like that. And this one sold after several months for $19.95. They wanted $50 for it, but I decided to scan it with the eBay app. I could tell immediately that it was gonna be worth it. There were like three in new condition that were listed, 12 it sold, good sell through rate. And I brought it home, listed it, and it sold in two days for $375. So yeah, I got the scanner back and that one hurt. But before he actually sent it back, I reached out and asked that he go to the Epson website, download the appropriate drivers, and maybe even call Epson if you couldn't get that to work. He actually stated he'd already done that. We had a pretty good correspondence. And when he sent it back, I opened up the box, made sure it was the right one via the serial number. It was, and I actually hooked it up to my computer and tried to get it to work myself. Downloaded several different drivers, even some bootleg ones, tried several different programs. I could not get it to work. I definitely think it was a hardware issue, the bum scanner, whatever you want to call it. It could have been jostled at the thrift store, even during shipping and knocked something loose, who knows? And I could have reached out to eBay and said, hey, this buyer did not send this back to me in the same condition in which he received it because I sent it to him brand new, got it back, the box was open, it was used. But honestly, I think morally, I have to stand behind the products that I sell. Even though I bought it from a thrift store, I sold it, it's kind of my responsibility. I, what do you guys think? Let me comment down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.